Here is Republican Senator Mike Lee's plan for Social Security. It will be my objective to phase out Social Security, to pull it up by the roots and get rid of it. Utah Republican Senator Mike Lee, who is opposed, who wants to uproot Social Security, is now running for re-election in opposition to Mike Lee. Last week, Mike Lee said this, I don't remember ever in any time since I first became a candidate for Senate ever saying, no, we just have to end Social Security and uproot all those expectations of those who've paid into it, quite to the contrary. And of course, of course, there's video of him saying exactly that the first time he ran for Senate. It will be my objective to phase out Social Security, Denied. to pull it up by the roots and get rid of it. Um, people who advise me politically always tell me that's dangerous, and I tell them, in that case, it's not worth my running. That's why I'm doing this, to get rid of that. Medicare and Medicaid are of the same sort and need to be pulled up. Joining us now is Evan McMullen, the independent Senate candidate in Utah. He is a former CIA officer and former House Republican policy director. He is supported by the Democratic Party of Utah in his campaign. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. You know, I'm, I'm struck not just by your opponent's declaration that he wanted to repeal, uproot Social Security, get rid of it, along with Medicare and Medicaid. He throws those in at the end. But it's that bravery that bravery that he proclaims upon himself in the middle of that statement when he says that his advisors tell him that it's politically not safe to say that, he said it's dangerous to say that, and he says, uh, he tells them that, well, in that case, it's not worth my running. Well, it turns out, <laughs> it turns out that he's not saying that anymore at all, is he? Well, great to be with you, Lawrence. I mean, look, this is the same kind of extremism that would lead Senator Lee and did lead Senator Lee to try to overturn our election in, in 2020 by recruiting fake electors uh, to, to overturn the will of the people and to dismantle our democratic republic. I mean, Senator Lee is an extremist, and that's what we're fighting against here in Utah. I'm running as an independent so that I can build a cross-partisan coalition of pro-democracy Democrats, Republicans, and independents. And that's what we've done here, and that's why this is now a competitive race. That's why Senator Lee and the far right are frightened that, that we're going to unseat him and that we're going to, uh, to challenge their, their power. And this is, this is something that should not be partisan. Most Republicans, Democrats, and independents want to protect Social Security. Most of us want to still have a democracy in America, but the far right is opposed to those things, and that's why we're building this coalition to replace them. And so we're inviting people from across the state and across the country to join us at EvanMcMullen.com. This is how we can save Social Security and how we can save our democracy. It's by coming together, those of us who still believe in these things, still believe in truth. Uh, that's the coalition we're building here in Utah. In his speech tonight about next week's election, President Biden said democracy is on the ballot. Uh, given that you are running against someone who tried to overturn the last presidential election, do you believe that democracy is on the ballot in Utah? It is on the ballot in Utah. I, I consider this to be a race that is is sort of ground zero for the defense of American democracy because you've got in Senator Lee someone who literally tweets, literally says, we are not a democracy, and then works by his own account 14 hours a day to make it so when he told the president, that he, the former president, that he was trying to unravel the results of the former, the, the, the election in 2020 to keep President Trump in power despite having been rejected by the people. I mean, that is what we're up against. And, and, and so I, my belief, Lawrence, as I think I've probably said before, even on this show, 
that the primary dividing line in American politics today is not whether you're a Republican or a Democrat or a conservative or a progressive. It's whether you're committed to our founding ideals that were created free and equal, and therefore we have a democracy and we have free and fair elections and, uh, and a constitution and that we, uh, we, we accept the reality of objective truth. You know, that is the dividing line in American politics. Either you believe in those things still or you do not. And, and thankfully here in Utah, uh, a majority of Utahns still do believe in those things. And that's why uh, we're poised to replace Mike Lee and have an excellent opportunity to help defend our democracy from the far right that wants to destroy it. And I'll add, Lawrence, that you know, they're so worried that Donald Trump just endorsed Mike Lee for the third time today. Now Ron DeSantis is getting involved. Uh, Rand Paul has been spending, uh, I think, upwards of a million dollars here as well to hold on to this seat. Uh, and the reason why they're afraid is that the rest of us are uniting to stand up for our democracy. And that's, you know, we're inviting everyone who still believes in those things to join us.